like you watch this, the Kirk Douglas sort of persona, like it, you wouldn't know, you can watch someone's second or third picture and be like, oh yeah, they're kind of still figuring out their thing. Where he's clearly, you would have no idea unless they told you that, oh, this was really early for him. Yeah, the only yeah. time you have people come on screen like fully formed around this time, I would say, or like if there's somebody who had a long career in vaudeville, like W.C. Fields or Jimmy Durante, by the time they come on screen, they've already figured out what they are. But in terms of like the movie star, you're right. Like it's wild that Kirk Douglas has already figured out who Kirk Douglas is. When you re-watch this with the lens of Kirk Douglas wasn't yet a star, you can kind of see there are some moments where you're like, oh, five or ten movies from now, that line would have been delivered in close-up. Like, he's sharing the frame a little more. Like, you can see it's directed a little differently, the scenes he's in, because it's not the same, like, all right, here's Kirk's line coming up. We gotta really, like, hammer this in. The gravity of the movie is still around Robert Mitchum and Jane Greer, even though Kirk Douglas is stealing scenes that he's in. <laughs> 